It's an American tradition in every vacation town to have an ice cream and candy shop. Treats like fudge, saltwater taffy, caramel apples, and ice cream are necessary parts of a vacation. I remember as a kid, my requirements were having a swimming pool at my hotel and getting to eat more candy and ice cream than usual. Even when you're a grown up, that thrill kind of never goes away. When you walk into a candy shop and you can smell the freshness and see the treats, you're just like a little kid again. You always hear me on dining tips talking about local and fresh and all that. I'm at Kilwins in Pier Park and I can talk about all those things here. Let's take a look around. Many candies here at Kilwins are made in-house. The fudge, for example, it's a physical, labor-intensive process. The fudge has to be paddled and turned on a marble slab the entire time it's cooling, which breaks down the sugar crystals and gives you that smooth, chewy texture that you love so much. Here at Kilwins, they also make the caramel corn, the dipped candies like caramel-covered marshmallows, pecan turtle crispies, chocolate-coated Oreos, waffle cones being dipped and made daily. It's the classic old-fashioned treat that you love. So DJ, I was telling our viewers about the physical process of making the fudge, for example. There are two more treats in front of us and you make these things. Yes, ma'am, we make them all right here in house. We have the uh, chocolate dipped strawberries mm -hmm. and uh, we can do them in milk white or dark chocolate and we can stripe them with opposite chocolate or stripe them with the same chocolate, however you prefer. And then we also have the uh, pralines that we make in house, which is uh, it's a whole lot of sweetness, a whole lot of sugar and butter that goes into them, but uh, they're all made right here in store. And this kitchen is constantly in motion. People can watch you work. Yeah, it's an exhibition style kitchen. So uh, basically all the customers can interact as they're uh, watching. They can ask questions. The kitchen's set up right there on the side of the store with all of the big picture windows as well. So usually there'll be nose prints and stuff on the window <laughs> where people are peeking in, trying to see what's going on. And, and we'll just wave them on in and welcome them to kill ones as they come in the door. It's really friendly and it's really fun to watch it all happening. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. As I said in the beginning, every Kilwins is locally owned and puts its own signature on the treats that they serve here. Here in Panama City Beach, for example, the pecans are brought in from a local farmer. I think that's a really special treat. And if you're stumped for what to serve for dessert, call ahead, they'll pack a quart of ice cream and then you can pick up a caramel and a fudge topping and you're all set. Being at Kilwins just makes me smile. I feel like a kid again. I like to sample little different things and I can appreciate them as a grown up for being fresh, for being able to taste the butter, the good chocolate, and that beautiful texture of handmade treats. That's my dining tip for you today. I'll see you soon for more here on Beach TV and you can always watch dining tips on our website, tripsmarter.com.